Hello everyone. This video is going to answer a data recovery question. The question is, there is no ROM chip on my hard drive PCB board. How can I do the firmware transfer? There are some hard drive PCB boards which have the firmware on the board, but not in the ROM chip. They are integrated into the main IC, like the picture shows. This picture shows a PCB board from a Western digital hard drive. There is firmware on the board, but not in the ROM chip. It is integrated into the main IC in the red circle. For this kind of PCB board, we cannot do the firmware transfer like other boards, just swap the ROM chip. We have to work on the main IC. This picture shows how to do the firmware transfer from one main IC to another main IC. This picture shows the main IC with firmware in it. It is a very high level integrated SMD chip. The ordinary electronic tools are not enough to work on this kind of chips. The HDDparts.com does provide this kind of services to transfer the firmware from main IC to another main IC. The hard drive PCB board firmware is the data or information on the hard drive PCB board. It is also called hard drive BIOS. The PCB board firmware is the information about the hard drive itself like hard drive configuration data. It is stored by the manufacturer and the hard drive needs this information to work. Some hard drive PCB board firmware is in the memory chip like picture one shows. Some hard drive PCB board firmware is integrated into the main chip like picture two shows. Some hard drive PCB board has no firmware on it, like picture 3 shows. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware also called hard drive PCB board bias and the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board bias are in the independent memory chip like the first picture shows. Some PCB board bias are integrated into the main IC like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drives PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware. We have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of these kind of boards. If you have any questions such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the BIOS transfer, where is the BIOS of your PCB board? How to swap your PCB board? 
please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.